Welcome to Media Farm, health information with a personal touch. I'm Dr. Dean Elb. There are some potentially big, big, big news in the world of obesity treatment. No, calorie-free donuts have not been invented. The news is Cunexa, a weight loss treatment previously rejected by the FDA. It's back and poised to become a treatment that could help millions and millions of people. Stay tuned to learn more. Obesity rates continue to rise and the holy grail of the pharmaceutical industry is an effective and safe weight loss medication. After the FenFen debacle of the 90s, market withdrawal of Meridia in 2010, failures of Contrave and Lorcas, and the less than pleasant gastrointestinal side effects caused by the only approved obesity treatment, Xenical, researchers turned to a pair of drugs already on the market to accomplish this feat. Cunexa combines moderate doses of fentermine, the stimulant half of the old fen-fen combo that remained on the market, and topiramate, an anti-seizure drug that causes weight loss. Taken together, as in the recently published Conquer trial, weight loss rates after a full year of treatment are impressive. In Conquer, nearly 2,500 mostly Caucasian, overweight, or obese Americans with medical complications of obesity such as high blood pressure, high triglycerides, or blood glucose, randomly received one of two Cunexa dosages or a placebo. All patients received diet and lifestyle counseling. Patients who got Cunexa registered an average weight loss of 18 to 22 pounds, with about two-thirds losing more than 5% of their starting weight. Nearly half of those on the higher Cunexa dose lost more than 10% of their starting weight. Significant reductions in waist circumference, blood pressure, triglycerides, and blood glucose were also noted. Long the bane of weight loss medications, side effects in Conquer were relatively minor and included dry mouth, constipation, altered taste, tingling sensations called paresthesias, trouble sleeping, dizziness, anxiety, irritability, fast heartbeat, and trouble paying attention. Despite some psychiatric effects and inclusion of patients with depression in this trial, there was no observed increase in suicidal thinking with Cunexa treatment. Three patients developed kidney stones, a known side effect of topiramate. With the long study duration, mostly manageable side effects, and weight loss as good or better than reported with Lorcas and Contrave, the Conquer trial appears to have swayed opinions, with an FDA advisory panel recently voting 20 to 2 to recommend Cunexa approval. The FDA has been burned before with this category and may yet ask for a larger study looking at heart disease-related outcomes with Cunexa. And, as with several other anti-seizure drugs, possible effects of topiramate on a developing fetus are of concern. Still, for Cunexa, it seems like the question is no longer if, but when. This has been Dr. Dean Elb wishing you well from Media Farm. Health information with a personal touch. <laughs>